What's up, what's up? It's your boy JV Mono back with another video. And today we're going to be talking about Meek Mill. Meek Mill is not too happy with his label situation. It's crazy, it's crazy. All right, so Meek Mill went on a Twitter rant recently. I think on the 1st of February, he went on a re uh, Twitter rant talking about his label and how he's not able to drop music because he just dropped an album. Which you know it kind of makes sense with the on the label set on the label end to you know you don't want to have them drop another project and then the other project just dropped probably I think like three four months ago maybe two months ago and you know maybe they want to make all the sales make as much money as on that album as they can which makes sense but let's get into what Meek Mill was talking about let's let's see what he's talking about his first tweet started off with so look. I made Atlantic Records hundreds of millions, hundreds of millions, and let them rape me out of Roddy, a artist they came to me about in jail. They still saying I can't drop music until nine months after my last album. Last album, I got blackballed, just rapped buildings and Nina art with talent. The next tweet is Roddy. My youngin' still, but they, that label separated us instantly when the millions came in from him. Same thing they tried to do with me and Rose. It takes a long time to catch up too, because most of most of them tied in for the love of some money. Artists scared to speak up. Okay, so I'm guessing he was he was supposed to sign Roddy Rich back then, back before Roddy got real hot. But Atlantic Records took not really. I I I won't, I won't say they took him from him because he never had him. You know what I'm saying? So if he did have him as a signed artist prior, then then you know you could say okay they took him from him. But I don't think they really took him from him. It seemed like the way Meek Mill is talking, it seems like they brought Roddy to him as a possibly signing to Dream Chasers. But you know they probably en ended up seeing that Roddy's mad talented. He got good songs that's out here playing. Making and he's making mad bread for him, so shit. It was like, hey, you know what? We're gonna cancel that. We're just gonna sign him ourselves. His next tweet was, "They didn't put nothing into expensive pain," and then said, "I can't drop for another another project for nine months at the end of my contract. After I made them hundreds of millions, how would can anybody survive that? Most rappers can't speak because they depend on these companies. I don't." If I didn't have millions, I'd probably do something crazy. They outsmarting young black kids, taking advantage and calling it business. Other artists speak up and tell the truth while you while you winning when you down. While you while you winning, not when you down. I had to think Roddy I had to think. Roddy didn't come to me. He was on his own grind. They brought him to me and cut me out soon as the money came. The label should have paid me, not Roddy. Then they fed him like I was trying to fed him like I was trying to lock him in. I was just trying to help and eat. Ain't get I was trying to help and eat and get a dollar from the la from label. Oh wow, yeah, this nigga writing writing a little crazy. But um so he says that, yeah, exactly. They said he said that they brought Roddy to him while he was in jail, and you know presented him to him basically. I guess to sign to the Dream Chasers. It says also I had to fight for my life to get DC Four counted as a album because they said I called it a mixtape. If y'all made twenty million off it, what is it counted as? Me and Roddy good now. This is not about him at all. They would have let us go to war and made money still. I had to say, I had to say, I'm rich. That's my youngin. And turn to these people and ask what's up for my work. They asked me, they asked me to do, they asked me to do. I ain't get a dollar. Yeah, it must have been off some some henny or something. But yeah, so basically he's saying, you know, he can't drop music for nine months. They they took they took an art a profitable artist away from him, and at the end of the day, man, to be honest, what can you say? Cause like these artists, they continue continuously go back to these labels. They continuously re-sign these contracts. If I'm not mistaken, Meek Mill been signed to Atlantic since 2009. Two no not I'm tripping not 2009 2011 2012. 
probably even before that. But through throughout this whole entire time, not one time did you think, hey, okay, let me try to renegotiate my contract. Not even renegotiate. Let me try to get out of my contract and just completely... And just completely go independent. You know what I'm saying? Because once you gain a certain amount of buzz, and once you, like, okay, like, after his first two, three albums, but then again, I can't even say that because a lot of these artists be locked into, like, five album contracts, six album contracts, and, you know, it's hard for them to actually escape that, especially when you're on, just like um, Meek said, on his, he's on his last album that he's contracted for with Atlantic, and now... He can't, they're saying, you know, he can't drop music for nine months. <clears throat> and then I was thinking also, like, yo, Meek should have waited for this little rant because then, shit, let's say if that nine months come, they could be like, yo, we don't want to drop your project. <laughs> we don't want to drop your project. We we, we chilling. We, we we focused on Young Boy. We focused on Kodak. We focused on Rowdy. We got, Atlantic has a lot of artists they do not they if one wants to act up i'm sure they do not care about holding on to that contract or whatever or making them just sit there shoving them until you know they're ready but i wish more artists would think of you know becoming more independent with their music especially like a nba young boy once you get to a certain point it's like why why are you still holding yourself with these this label and basically, I don't know. It seems like they're not happy on those labels. So to me, the simple solution would just be like, yo, don't resign. That's it. Mm-hmm. Once you come back to that table after you dropped all your, your, your albums that you were supposed to, you just don't don't resign. It's just that simple. But I guess it's not that simple because a lot of these artists go all the way, always go back. Always go back. Which yeah, it's your boy JV. Let me know what you think. Put your thoughts and comments in the bottom. Do you think um, do you think Meek Mill is tripping? Do you think his label tripping, or do you think he just needs to go independent and just say fuck it all? Let me know. Peace.